What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Gervonta Tank Davis and Yoriokis Gamboa. These guys squared off today. It was a very, very interesting fight. Gamboa could not resist getting hit by the straight left nor the uppercut. Uh, the second round was the first knockdown, and it was strangely odd. It was seeming that something was wrong with Gamboa's foot, ankle, shoe, or something okay so he was wobbling around most of the rest of the fight now uh davis was catching them with hard shots but it seemed that gamboa was able to take them better than most f opponents so this was different this was a different experience for uh javante okay javante tank davis field rounds four five six seven eight and around and around eight he was looking like he was slowing down he was breathing out of his mouth, which is Davis. He was breathing out of his mouth. He was, he was uh, feeling, he was looking fatigued because, you know, Davis never been to this point in his career either, you know, and then by that time, the old veteran tactics of Gamboa start to kick in, you know, hitting off the break and, you know, um, hitting when Davis really wasn't looking, okay? Um, Gamboa seemed that he was, he, that he was a tough competitor you know, um, Davis stopped him in the 12th round. Now, three knockdowns was assessed in this fight. Tank definitely has the power. Tank could go up to 140 if he wanted to. Um, but he did learn a lot as moving up in weight, making weight. And he blamed himself for that. If he, he rated himself, uh, if he gave himself uh, anything, it would be uh, C plus, um, how his performance was tonight. But of course, he said that he gave credit to Gamboa that he was a very tough veteran and fighter that's been in there with a lot of people like Terrence Crawford. So, you know, he said that he's improving and he can make both 130 and 135. And, you know, Jim Gray was like, well, you miss weight here. <laughs> you miss weight here. So, um, Javante Tank Davis has the power. Stamina is not really... That's something that I do question that he has. Um, but, I mean, of course that could work on due to his training. So hopefully he can get that training in like he needs. Um, Gamboa never seen the left uppercut, and that's what ultimately stopped him in the 12th. He almost got him out of there in the 11th. But the thing is, it looks bad for Davis because he let this fight linger on. He let this fight linger on, but I think now the fighters are tougher. The fighters, they're bigger, okay? So they're, they're able to withstand punches coming from someone that's not 126 pounds or 130 pounds, okay? So, you know, congratulations to Javante Tank Davis. They asked him who he won. He says, there's no safety on my gun. Anybody can get it. That's really not being specific. He didn't call anyone out because I don't think he can, you know. But anyway, it was a good fight. Yodiokis Gamboa, despite having a foot or knee problem, he showed veteran skills and good showmanship, okay? Minus the two behind-the-head punches, <laughs> okay? So it was, uh, it was very exciting. Gamboa did a lot of holding. He was starting to get pointed. And, you know, Jack Reese didn't do it, but it was getting to that point. So, Gamboa goes 12 rounds with Javante Tank Davis, getting stopped by Davis. Davis feeling on top of the world. I say, let's move on to the next one. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Javante Tank Davis knocking out Yoriokis Gamboa in the 12th round. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.